Hello, everyone. Well, sadly, the heavens opened earlier in the build-up to this game, and it's still raining as we speak here at Ellen Road. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leeds United up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Miguel Almiron plays with Alan San Maxima in the wide areas. And the striker is a player with considerable know how, Callum Wilson. And they kick off here. Joel Linton. Sam Maxima. Determined defending. Bruno Guimaraes. Saint Maxima. Crossing opportunity. Saint Maxima. Tries to lift it. And a really fine piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm not sure that was the right decision. Easy save in the end. Harrison. Adams. Oh, lovely ball. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. It'll be a corner. They take it short and deliver towards the back post. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Bamford. Jack Harrison has it. High quality defending. And showing fine vision. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Harrison. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. McKenney. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot.
He's given it away. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. They've given it away. Now well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. It is a decent looking attack here. And attempting the through ball. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. They favoured a short one here. Aronson. Verba. Jack Harrison has it. Well, he's given it away. Callum Wilson. And possession given away. Long staff. Fed over towards the back post. Well, strong play here. Aronson. Counter-attacking, very much an option. A run to Rome on the wing. A chance to whip it in. Attending to his defensive chores. Maxima and scope for them to produce something exciting but quick thinking defensively and the pass could do damage and he might be in here and tremendous goalkeeping well he just made it so difficult for the striker his presence alone just caused him a problem Bamford well, they might be onto something Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, the pressure has certainly been applied. Let's find out if Newcastle are feeling it. This could be interesting. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, Leeds aren't controlling the possession here, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been good. What a powerful effort, but just wide. <laughs> Sam Axima. Wilson. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. A magpie's corner. Let's see what they can do with it.
and taken short long staff now with Wilson Almiron able to get a body in the way body in the way again Weston McKenney. Good visualization and execution. McKenney. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And there it is, the half time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Allen Road. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. And the game begins. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Patrick Bamford. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, nicely cut out, breaking at pace. Well, that was a terrific attack, but they'll be disappointed about the way it ended. Well, it's good play. They force the error, break forward quickly and create the opening. However, the finish didn't match the rest of it. Ailing. Going well, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Sam Maxima. It's with Joe Linton. Lovely ball over the top. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Almiron. Gives it a go. Determined defending. So a half an hour remaining. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Nyonto. On to Bamford. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, that's a really good run. Long staff. On to San Maxima. Cleared away.
and support available McKenney, and he takes on the shots and that's a straightforward stop can they create something from here in position and he's gone for power so close to finding the net Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, the midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. Yes, they're having a field day in attack, and here they come again. That's a well-struck pass. And players waiting in the centre. Offside, close one. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need a goal here! giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Bruno Guimaraes. It's with Joel Linton. And intercepts again. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. A really sumptuous ball, but how well he did to cut that one out. Oh, great vision. He might be able to make it through. He had to react and did. Bamford. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, the supporters think it's on. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. And using his strength to shield the ball. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Now, options are plenty. Joel Linton. Moving forward effectively. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, there goes the final whistle. Leeds get the victory and take the three points. How would you sum this up? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. 
Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.